Hi Scorpio, this is Heart Light Tarot and Astrology. My name is Holly Marie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I work with energies of the tarot along with what's going on astrologically to give you guys a predictive forecast. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you get notified when I post content. I post tarot readings three times a month and I post astrology readings one time a month. So if you're interested in that type of thing, consider subscribing. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. All right, let's get started. This is a timeless reading. This is going to, if it, re if it reaches you now and it resonates, that makes it even more special. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising placements. Archangel Michael, please protect this reading with your white light. Tell me what it is that I need to know so that I can let Scorpio know in regards to what's going on with their life right now. What do you want Scorpio to know? Have you been carrying a lot? <clears throat> Have you been waiting on some kind of news, Scorpio? I feel like this news that you're waiting on, this, this, this path that you've been going down has been making you very tired, um, but you know it's leading you somewhere and you're just waiting for the news right now. You're just waiting for some some good news from somebody somebody that's possibly a air sign libra gemini aquarius i also see fire so leo sagittarius aries and i also see uh, pentacles which is taurus virgo and capricorn as well let's clarify this energy i feel like you're waiting for this so that you can kind of I don't, I wouldn't say slack off, but like kind of go out and like go party or go hang out with friends and have a good time. But right now you just got to buckle down and bear it down. Okay. Um, you have to wait and continue to work and collect something. Somebody is telling me that you collect, you've been collecting something. Um, this Knight of Swords is, is here telling me that you're going to be getting the news that you need here soon. And it's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment since it's clarified with this Ten of Cups. Why is the Knight of Wands the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands here? It shows me that um, I feel like you're going to maybe take a little bit of time off after you get this news. After you see your paycheck. Someone's telling me you're waiting for a paycheck you've been working really hard for. Um, because you're going to be going back to school or learning something just at the bottom of the clarifying deck. So that tells me some kind of legal situation, maybe a divorce, maybe a Libra that you're dealing with. The three of wands is here as well. Bottom of the deck energy. So that just tells me that you're waiting. You're definitely waiting. Okay. Cause the three of wands is just putting in some work and waiting for, for the results to come in. feel like it could be a water sign that you're waiting for, for maybe you're waiting for an offer or you're waiting for someone to let you know that they want to be with you maybe you've been working really hard um, on yourself and um, making it known that you're available to somebody and this person might become rushing might coming be coming to rush in I feel like this person is everything that you've ever wanted here with the nine of pentacles this person has it all they can provide for themselves. They pay their own bills. They have something to bring to the table. Okay. With this nine of pentacles energy, they would make you really happy. They're everything that you've ever wanted here with the 10 of cups. Um, I feel like maybe, you know, you might want some kind of last, um, night out with the friends before you really, uh, become traditional with this person. I feel like this person is a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, queen of wands, or this person just makes you feel that way that they make you feel attractive they make you feel beautiful uh, maybe they are beautiful to you and very sexy maybe this person has a, to decide whether or not to be with you this two of wands here i feel like you're waiting and hoping that they choose you the justice card here maybe you're waiting for them to leave somebody that they're with or leave their situation maybe they have a lot going on in their home right now Maybe they're going through a legal situation, a legal battle. 
Let's get some more cards. What's going to happen here in this situation? What do you want Scorpio to know in regards to this situation? What's going to happen? The High Priestess. All right, High Priestess, use your intuition. Okay, use your intuition. Your, your, your gut is going to tell you the truth here. It's going to tell you what it is that you need to know. What else do you want them to Trust yourself is what I'm hearing. You can trust yourself. You can fight for this connection. If this is what you feel like you, it is supposed to happen for you guys, let this person fight for you. Maybe you're maybe you're tired of being the one that's always fighting for this person. Um, I feel like this person's very sexy and attractive to you, or maybe that's the way that they see you. They're going to let you know that they find you very attractive and very sexy, okay? I feel like this attraction is very magnetic look at the way that he's looking at her like he is exhausted and he's not paying it to any paying attention to anything but work but when he sees her he slows down and he checks her out so i feel like this person is very very much attracted to you they think you're so sexy and they're, they're they always think you're worth looking at checking out paying attention to they definitely want you to be, they want to love you here with the Queen of Cups. Two of Cups at the bottom. This person's going to be offering you something here soon. Two of Cups energy. Could be a water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you're stuck in the middle of a situation right now or you have a lot going on or this person has a lot going on and you're just waiting for a word for them or maybe you're waiting for it to be the right time to let this person know that you're really feeling them and that they would make you so happy and that you're very attracted to them. Okay. Um, what else do you want Scorpio to know? This could be an Aquarius. Yeah, definitely going to be getting some news here with the Ace of Swords. This person wants to tell you that you're the two of cups at the bottom again. This person wants to be with you. They want to be in a partnership with you. You bring them hope. I feel like maybe their past has been a rough one with this Ten of Wands. Um, I feel like they f they always feel like they need to do things on their own. They need to carry things um, on their back. They can't trust anybody, but I feel like they're going to let you know that they can trust you. And they find hope in your connection and the connection with you. And the Ace of Swords here, they're going to be telling you very clearly how they feel about you. Or maybe you are going to be telling them how you feel about them. Um, what is this person... What's going to happen with this person? What is this person going to say? The Emperor. Aries energy. I feel like they're going to tell you it's, you're the only one. You're the only one they want to be with. Um, maybe this person is your boss or you are their boss. I feel like it's going to be out uh, three, of the, three of wands at the bottom of the deck again. Um, so it just it, it came back out. Okay, um, just wait. Okay, wait. I think in the next maybe three months or so, this person's going to come to you and tell you how they feel. This Three of Cups, it might be in a social gathering, maybe a birthday party or a wedding or a get together or at a dinner with friends. Um, I definitely think that you should be doing things exactly how you're doing them now. I wouldn't change anything, Scorpio. I'd keep things the same. And just wait because this person's going to, or don't wait. I mean, if you have other options, but this person's going to be um, letting you know how they feel or you are going to be feeling like you need, it's the right time in the next few months. And it's going to go over really well. This person's going to want to be with you. Okay. All right. That is the message for now. I mean, I was going to get a love message since this is general, but love popped out here. So I went ahead with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get your... A little bit more love for Scorpio. I'm going to get you some Oracle cards. Hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk being strategic. Options. Not showing your hand and gambling. I definitely feel like you're going to be taking a chance on this person. But right now you're being very strategic. Like I was saying, you're just watching and waiting for the right time. Or this person is watching you. But they're gathering their hand of cards. And they're going to be gambling a you know, gambling being with you. Maybe you guys know each other from the casino. Um, that could be it as well. Uh, camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. 
I feel like you're thinking about all the times that you've been around this person and you're remembering all of the memories that you've had. I feel like you know this person, you've known them for a while, um, but your perception of them is changing. Um, maybe you're learning from past relationships. Maybe they are too. Like I was telling you with that 10 of wands that was here. Um, I feel like you, you, maybe you carried so much of the baggage from last relationships. You never said how you felt, or they never said how they felt in their relationship. And, and, you know, they've been hurt in the past and you want to make sure that when you tell them or when they tell you that you're able to, you know, that you guys are able to come together. All right, let's get you some more love oracles. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. And at the bottom, you're going to be meeting this person. You're going to date them. You're going to get back out there and you're going to plan or set a date. So this person is in love with you. Okay. The reason that they're waiting for you or they have been waiting for you or watching you is because they're falling in love with you. Okay. I feel like it's okay to love this person, to get back out there and to date. Um, you're going to know when it's the right time though. Definitely take your time. The world came out here. It's a new cycle of your life. Yep. Three of cups again. All right. Three of cups again. So it's definitely going to be out to, out to get together or this person is going to be asking you out on a date. Bottom of the deck energy is six of cups. I see water here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person, it brings back a sense of euphoria. A sense of being feeling like a kid again. They bring you out the butterflies in you. And they make you feel like all things are possible. Maybe you guys both have children. Uh, one of you guys have children. Or maybe you want children with this person. Um, whatever the case may be, this is going to be a very positive connection, okay? And if it doesn't feel like the right time, then just wait a little longer. And you're going to know when it's time. I definitely say in the next three months. Six of Cups came out again. This person makes you feel very um oh why is the seven of why is the seven of wands here this person makes you feel very special okay seven i mean why is the seven of swords here seven of swords here is because the eight of cups is here they're in, they're trying to figure out how they can be with you or you are trying to figure out how to be with them um you're walking away from any drama from last relationships the moon here is telling me that you know you're dealing with some things you didn't realize that you felt and the Six of Pentacles is balancing out your life to get ready for this connection, okay? And maybe taking some time to really think about how you're going to make it work. I don't see anything negative, though, here. I see, like, positivity and maturity coming through in this reading, okay? So I wish you all the best in this connection. Let me know how it resonates. Let's get your career in finance. Please like my video. Share my channel. I would appreciate it. Let me know how you like the combination of general love and money and career. Career and finance for Scorpio. Job loss, termination of employment. Uh, did you recently lose a job or looking for a job because you had to leave another job? What else? Internship. You're going to be starting something new. It might not pay you, but it's going to require an interview. So if that's something that you have been thinking about and waiting about, waiting, maybe with that King of Swords or that Knight of Swords energy in the beginning of your reading, you're just waiting for some kind of news here. That could be it as well. Deadlines. So I definitely feel like there's a deadline here, um, some kind of internship or interview if you've been thinking about doing it but not sure. Um, this is definitely you're okay to go ahead and try out for this internship, set up the intern interview for the internship. Um, there may be a deadline. It's, it's supposed to happen. It's meant to be and it's your clarification. That's for some of you. Um, I also see loan denied here. So maybe you're, you know, because you're not working or because you lost a job or making less money, you're looking to get a loan and it's saying that's not the right time here. Um, King of Cups, use your intuition. Um, trust yourself to make the right decision and to be wise enough to get yourself through this. It's a lot of cup energy, a lot of water energy. You are a water sign. Pisces is here waiting to, um, hangman energy, waiting to make the, the right move. 
I just say do your, do, do your research, see if there's any kind of deadlines here that you need to um, pay attention to. And But I feel like this is going to, if you trust yourself and you're wise throughout this and you don't doubt yourself and you know that this is happening for a reason, your hopes and dreams are going to be coming true here with the Nine of Cups. It's going to be any, everything that you've ever wanted. Um, I just feel like you might have to take some risks in order to get there. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Let me know how you like this reading. Give me a thumbs up if you would, please, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.